B, no. Jay's Dallas is life. Welcome to my page if it's your first time tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. I check my stuff, man. Today's Monday. I call it Anxiety Monday, but I had a good day today at treatment. You know what I mean? I'm just getting out. I feel good. It's very important that you watch your fluids and your salt intake. And I kick these tips and I kicked everything that I'm talking about because I'm going through it myself. So, like I said, it was a good treatment, man. Usually I take a nap, like try to sleep through it, but that didn't happen today. I mean, I didn't take no nap. I binge watched, you know what I mean, some shows on Hulu, because that's what I does. That's what I does. I hope you guys out there that have dialysis Monday, you know what I mean, and I hope that your treatment went well and you didn't have such a hard time. I know that people get tired and you know what I mean, we're always tired after dialysis, but I pray that y'all did well today, man. What's important, what I want to talk about today is just food choices. Food choices, man. You know how they talk about phosphorus and taking your binders and stuff like that. My advice is, man, my advice is do everything homemade. Home make your food. Don't sit there and go to takeout spots. Some of these grocery stores, they got their own little, you know, cafe in there, the stand the third. A lot of these, if not all of them, have phosphate in it, a certain type of phosphate in it. Look at the logos, man, or talk to someone at dialysis, social worker, something like that, and have them give you a list, print out a list. But you be on top of it. Healthy foods, non salty foods, don't use salt seasonings. There's a lot of seasoning out there that have no salt in them. Herbs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I've been going through dialysis a long time, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? This time around, I just developed anxiety because of the worry. The worrying about being on dialysis. And the fear of something happening to me on dialysis. And just the fear of being on dialysis, period. It's normal. It's normal. But don't let anxiety... Don't let anxiety take over your life. Don't let it hinder your life. Don't let it stop you from living your life. You don't want to sit there and be just worrying all the time, fearing all the time, and have anxiety all the time. Nah, man, we can do this, deal with it, and move forward and grow. We got this. Dealing with anxiety is just takes away a lot from your life man because you don't want to do anything because of the worry you dig you can go out there and live a great life man there's a lot of people I see on dialysis they're still living their life they're still going on trips and the older folks too older folks are taking trips to Florida and Hawaii and Cali and stuff like that. I want to go places too. I want to go places too. So I'm just making a stand not 
to sit there and let fear stop me, not to let worry stop me, and not to let anxiety stop me. Therapy, man. Therapy helps. Therapy, meditation, breathing exercises, just doing things that make you happy. Doing things that get your mind off of dialysis. Of course, we can't turn a blind eye to the fact that we're on dialysis. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is live your life. Don't let it stop you. Keep moving forward. You are strong enough. You are strong enough to conquer the fears and worry and anxiety of it all. We're all human beings. So at the end of the day, it's going to get to us. We're going to feel these things. But we don't have to dwell in it. We don't. Ladies gentlemen, teenagers, kids, people of all ages going through dialysis, make steps, make steps to do what makes you happy, to live a fulfilling life, even though that we're going through this, we can still be happy, we can still be joyful, we can still go for our goals we can still live this life we can still accomplish the things that we want to accomplish never give up never give up keep going stay strong and just try to be the healthiest as you can be man while doing all this thing you know on the side note, matter of fact, changing the subject. You know that what you put into your body can affect how you feel on dialysis. So if that's the case, let's start watching what we eat, taking our binders, staying up on top of the medicine that we are on, and homemade food. Homemade food, man. You'll feel better. Do a little bit of exercise, walk-ins. I get my walk-in, get my walk-on. Things of that nature. Stay up, ladies and gentlemen. Day ain't over yet. Bino. Yes, man. It's like 5.30. And <clears throat> come to the conclusion of this video, I'm about to go. I just woke up from a nap. I'm about to go to the grocery store. Homemade food. The house is friendly. Remember, man. You got this. You can do this. Life is not over. Your world is not over. Choose positivity. Choose happiness. Keep going for your goals. Keep going for your dreams. Just because we're on dialysis, we're living through kidney disease, doesn't mean we that our dreams are over, that our goals are over, the things that we wanted are over. I hope this video helps you guys a lot. You know what I'm saying? If you're going through anxiety, you know what I'm saying? It's it's curable. You can fight this. You can beat this. Life is so beautiful, man. You don't want to miss out on it because of fear and worry and just having anxiety about the things that we have to live through in this lifetime. I'm praying for y'all. God is good all the time. God is great. Gives me the strength to go out there each day and do and live my life. And live my life, man. Before this video ends, you'll see my dinner, my food, little preparation and stuff like that. Hope y'all check it out. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. 
I check my stuff, man. B, no. Bino. We out here. It's a beautiful day on a Monday. Top of the week. Top of the week. We got this. You got this. Praying for y'all. It's your life. Living right. Jay's dialysis life. Bino.